All right, we're gonna run through this quick daily mobility that I highly recommend you do before every single workout. So to begin, we're gonna start with five ankle circles in each direction. And then you can either switch legs and do five on the other side, or you can move directly into the hip circles, which I will show you now. You're gonna go five in each direction here. Leg stays straight, foot comes straight up to the front, out to the side, drop straight in. Back to the front, side, down. And again, you're gonna go five, and go five out to the side, and to the front, five to the side, to the front. I'm only gonna show you three here for time purposes. But you're gonna do five on each side, going in both directions. And we'll drop into um, five full range of motion squats. So this range of motion really depends on what you can do. If you can pull yourself all the way down while keeping your back straight, that is fine. Some people may only be able to drop to about 90. Some may be only about a quarter way through. Pull them all the way down, maintaining that straight back back up and you can even drive into the toes, squeeze through glutes, a little extra connection. Then from there, foot drops to the back. You're gonna go back to the five ankle circles in each direction. From here, this leg is gonna kick straight back out to the side. Again, leg is staying straight. Again, you're gonna go five in each direction. I will just show three. And then same thing with the other leg. Straight back out, straight in. Here we're opening the hips. And this entire routine is meant to set the body and the mind to prepare for a workout. So you go back to three squats. These knees staying over the toes. You don't want them pulling way out. You don't want them caving in. As far down as you can go, drive up into the toes. Now we're gonna switch into wrist circles, five in each direction. Now this next one, you can either stand on both feet and do this. You can stand on a single leg, and this depends really on your level of stability. So standing on the single leg, arm comes straight up in the air. You're gonna circle at the shoulder while keeping the arm straight. The palm faces inward, so if both arms were up and you're circling, the palms would face each other. Again, you're gonna go five in each direction. Now, if you don't have the stability, stand on both feet. And if you want an extra stability ch challenge, you can actually stand on a BOSU ball and do this. So you do both sides standing on that single leg if possible. And then you'll switch. You're gonna place a slight bend in your elbow, slight bend in your wrist. Arm comes directly out to the side. Now this one I like to stand on the opposite leg. Again, you're gonna circle at the shoulder. Some people like to shrug their, their traps way up. Keep those traps and shoulders pulled down and just make a nice smooth circle. Again, five in both directions switch sides, and we're doing the um, opposite leg, opposite arm. Here we're trying to gain a cross-body connection. A few of the things that we do are to enhance our um, neurological connections between right and left hemispheres. So after you have done um, five shoulder circles straight overhead and to the side, we are going to do the wrist circles again, five in each direction. And then you're going to, driving into the toes, pull your arms straight up and overhead, finding a full connection, the posterior chain, drop those arms back in front of the body and pull straight out to the side. Again, we're gonna go five in each direction. I'm gonna show three, driving high as you can into the toes, 
controlling it back down into the heels, pulling straight out to the side. Now you're gonna tuck chin to chest. You're gonna roll down, you're gonna feel this stretch, hamstrings, lower back, but you wanna exhale as you roll down and then inhale as you roll up. But the chin drops first and it comes up last. Exhale, exhale. Inhale. That chin comes up last, you can tilt it back a little bit and drop straight back down. Again, take this one slow. You're gonna probably find some tightness through the hamstrings, lower back. You really just wanna sit and breathe into those tight areas. Now feet are gonna come apart, so you can either do a slight angle, you can keep a slight bend, or you can point them straight, keeping your legs straight. This is gonna kinda of depend on your level of flexibility and range of motion, but you wanna go down a single side. Again, that chin drops down, run your arms down your leg. You're gonna make a half circle all the way across. Walk yourself up the opposite leg, again, chin coming up last. And then you'll go down the same side that you just rolled up. All the way across. Pulling yourself back up. And you will go five in each direction. Again here, I'm just going to show three. Really, you're going to try to feel this inner thighs. You'll feel a little in the hamstrings, lower back as well. But we're just trying to open up the body, get set and prepared for the workout we're about to do. And again, we do the same routine before every workout, because not only does it prepare the body for the work that's about to be done, but it also prepares the mind doing the same routine every day. It's muscle memory. So you are mentally prepared to take on a hard challenge.